Okay, so I'm um, working on the mudroom still. Um, as we come down in here, you can kind of see what we did. And you can hopefully kind of see what our goal is. We'll use this one right here. So you can see the wall's not perfectly square. The boards aren't perfectly square. So we've got the back edge. And as we come down here on these sides, you can see that it's just, you know, pieces of wood put together. Um, if we look up here at this bigger bay, this will give you kind of an idea of what we're trying to get to, right? So we're just framing in um, Mold, and molding, molding, yeah, molding. And then you can see along the edges where we've used um, some caulk. And that's what we're going to talk about is this little caulk tool that's kind of cool. Um, but just yeah, on a molding, see. be patient with the molding because when you measure the outside of the box, back up for a minute. When you measure the outside of the box from here to here and you think the distance is, you know, 13 and 5 eighths. Well, when you get to the back side, it's not going to be 13 and 5 eighths. It's going to be 13 and 6 eighths or half inch or something. So cut it, dry fit it, cut it again, dry fit it, cut it again until you get a good corner. Because if you don't, your measurements will be off. I've wasted a couple of boards. But anyway, so let's talk about this tool. So first off, I thought, what a stupid tool, right? Because... Everybody's got a finger, and so it's just a matter of, you know, getting your finger wet and moving along the bead of the silicon. But in fact, um, when you do that, your uniformity is not consistent. You have fat spots, skinny spots, and it just doesn't look professional. This is a three-in-one tool from Saker, S-A-K-E-R. Not sure where we found it, but the interesting thing with the tool, put it down here, is that um, it's curved, which is super helpful getting in and out. You can actually, this is one tool, scraping, making sure you slide this over. This is actually what curves the mud. And the other side is actually taking mud out, either pulling or pushing. I haven't used that much because I'm in a new construction site. But anyway, this is super helpful. This is super helpful. And, and it comes with five different tips. So you can do different things with different tips. So if you come over here, I'll give you an idea of how the tips work. If I do a tight tip like this one, you can see that the bead is gonna be very small when it comes across. If you do a fat one, you're gonna see that the bead is gonna be considerably bigger. Whoops, I should come this way. The bead is gonna be considerably bigger. You always pull against the flat edge. So very small bead, considerably larger bead. And if you look on the side of this, it's very easy to do this. You just pull this out, put your fingernail there, it's plastic. So it's just gonna pull out. I'm gonna release this a bit. Pull that out. And then it comes off and you grab the other one and you set the side and then um, you just work it over the top. Come on, get it up there. Work the side. Gosh, you'd think I couldn't get it done. There we go. And then push it back over the other side and it locks in. So right now I'm using the one that it came with, which is a good bead. So I'm gonna put that back on, make sure it's locked in, good to go. So you got five different ones, but okay, let's, let's show you how it works. So just to understand again, um, you're gonna put this so that it creates a nice 90 degree corner. And then you're gonna pull it. Now on the left board, I use my right hand. If I go like this, I can't see it. So just switch to your left hand, get it in there and then pull it again, right? So it's pretty straightforward. You're not, you're gonna get gunk down in here. So you're gonna wanna pull this back and clean it off, put it in water, just get it clean. You don't wanna start and get crap all over it. Uh, the other thing, have some paper towel around, you know, because you're gonna have excess. Um, it's gonna take a little bit to figure out how much you really need because um, it's surprising how much comes off um, and leaves still a really good bit. So this one right here, um, I think the next important thing is if you're gonna leave a very, a very light ridge, make sure you've got good caulk so it doesn't crack, it's flexible. You know, in this case, we're using GE Painters Quick Dry. It has a little silicon in it, but mostly it's acrylic. 50 years, you can paint it in 20 minutes, right? So get good caulk, because if you don't, it's not gonna work as well, right? So when you caulk in here, come around on this side. When you caulk in here, you're gonna see a little bead come out down here. Make sure you get a little bead because if you start with that thing and you don't have a bead, then it's not gonna push it and you're gonna have, you're gonna have to come back again. So you think, oh, that's maybe enough, maybe not enough, but in fact, now take the bead, you stick that in the corner, make sure you're at a 90 and just pull it straight out. 
and it leaves a fantastic corner. I mean, it's incredible. Now I've got a bunch of stuff on my on my tool, uh, but the corner, they're all uniform. So then I just go like this, slide that off to keep my my tool, and then I'll fold that up. So I mean, it's just let me do the next one. It's just really it's it's really a nice little tool. So again, I just put enough to see it. Get a nice bead. I'm going to pull a lot off you that one. You should talk about that caulking gun. Oh yeah, the caulking gun's a good caulking gun. It's a auto stop, so it doesn't keep pushing stuff out. So again, I'm using my left hand so I can see on the right hand side, keeping it at a 90 degree angle and just pulling it off. And again, that the closet looks super professional, I think anyway. So then, that was good. Once you do that, then just fold this up, keep it clean, right? Then you can just use it again, just keep folding it up. So that's how long it takes to do those two. I'm just gonna do these two real quick and you'll see again, this time I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put one bead down and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna put the other bead down. Whoops, you can see there that got a little squirrely, so I'm gonna put it back down again. And then I'm gonna take the tool, line it up, right hand on the left, Make sure it's at a 90. Do a nice clean sweep. Looks great. Wipe it off. Come back to the other side with the left hand on the right. Get it in the corner, 90 degrees again. Nice clean sweep, all done. So yeah, kind of a cool tool. I like this tool. Um, much better than using your finger. And again, the uniformity, um, you know, I don't know. You make your own call. I I I like the tool. It's a winner.